Hello friends, Tatya Hao. In this video, we are going to learn about greetings and introduction that how to say right and pronounce in Chinese language. Guys, in this video, we will see how to say hi, how are you, how do you do and ask someone's name and tell your name about caste, health, thanks and goodbye. So for this reason, this lecture is very important to learn because this, this is very much fundamental of your language, of Chinese language. So guys, this is Seth and you are welcome to my channel. Let's start. So guys, first part of our video is greetings. And in greetings, first we will learn how to say hello, hi. The first word we will learn is how. H A O. How. This is a Chinese word and its meaning is good, fine. How will pronounce is how. 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 It will be pronounced same as like English word how. How. If I put before this how knee, it becomes knee how knee how and its meaning is hello or hi. How to pronounce ni how ni how and the other person will also uh, reply in return ni how. For example, if I say ni how, you will say. Ni hao, ni hao. As guys, you know that after saying hello, we say, How are you? How are you? How do you do? So now we will learn how to say in Chinese, How do you do? How are you? Now we will see ma. It's a questioning mark or symbol that is used for asking such questions whose answer is either yes or no okay so if i take this ni hao and ni hao and put this ma here it becomes it becomes ni hao ma ni hao ma and its meaning is how are you how are you ni hao ma ni hao ni hao ma Ni hao ma? And the answer of this question is also very simple. In the place of ni, you have to put wa. Wa meaning I. And you know that how meaning is good. And we will put here how. Wa how. Wa how. It means I am fine. I am good. Ni hao ma? Wa hao. Ni hao. Ni hao ma? Wa hao. Now guys we will learn how to say and you. You didn't understand? Like. You say someone hi. He in return says hi. Then you ask him how are you? He says I am fine. And you? Now we will learn how to say and you in Chinese language. Guys, we guys for and you we have Nina Nina and its meaning is and you guys there is an important note for you that this Nina is just specified for and you when you ask someone and you this meaning and you so this is specified for and you me na and you and you and guys you could have also noticed that when you ask someone and you he answers I'm also fine he doesn't say that I am fine what how he says I am also fine so the question is here how to say also in Chinese for also we use ye ye 
ये हाउ टू प्रोनाउंस ये ये हाउ आई एम ऑल्सो फाइन द प्लेस ऑफ दिस ये इज आफ्टर द सब्जेक्ट वाई ये हाउ आई एम ऑल्सो फाइन वाई ये हाउ आई एम ऑल्सो फाइन and guys you have noticed that sometimes we are very excited we say i am very good i am very good we doesn't say that i am good we say i am very good very well excited so how to say very in chinese for very we have the word han h e n han han h e n han han meaning very so how to use this in our sentences for wa hao wa han hao wa han hao its meaning is i am very good i am very good wa han hao if you want to use in this sentence that i am also very good i am also very good you will use like this wa ye i had said earlier that the position of ye is after the subject just after the subject so wa ye han hao wa ye han hao wa ye han hao as you know that this is an adverb so it is before the verb so guys we do so guys we do some exercise Uh, that we have learned till yet first for example you are the second person i am the first person okay ni hao ni hao ni hao ma wo han hao ni na wo ye han hao now the last and important word of greetings we will learn is thank you how to say thanks for this we have a chinese word xie x i e in chinese x is pronounced as sh how to pronounce xie xie if i write twice it becomes xie 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 and it is also said like this xie 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 and xie xie both are fine and its meaning is thanks or thank you you can also say xie xie ni xie xie ni xie xie ni xie xie ni and in return how to answer this like uh, we say that when someone says thank you in return he says you are welcome no need to say how to say no need no need to say you are welcome in chinese for this we have pu b u pu yong pu yong u yong why is pronounced as ye yong u yong xie u yong xie u yong xie u yong xie its meaning is you are welcome no need to say thanks and guys now starts the second part of our lecture the second part is introduction in introduction introduction we will learn how to say introduce yourself that how will someone say that introduce yourself introduce yourself for this we have the chinese ji ye shao ji ye j i e how to pronounce ji ye ji ye Shao, S H A, Shao, Shao, Jie Shao, E, Xiao, 
And there is a hidden R in this word. How to pronounce E Shar? Shar. E Shar. Chie Shao E Shar. Its meaning is introduce. Its meaning is introduce. How to pronounce Chie Shao E Shar? Chie Shao E Shar. And guys, there is also spoken simple. Chie Shao. Chie Shao. Chie Shao. Many also introduce. And Chie Shao Isha is a complete word. If I put before this Ni, Ni Chie Shao Isha, or just simple Ni Chie Shao, Ni Chie Shao, its meaning is introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. You can also say that Wa. Chie Shao. What Chie Shao? I introduce myself. What Chie Shao Ta? What Chie Shao Ta? Its meaning is I introduce his self. I introduce herself. What Chie Shao Ta? Or complete word Chie Shao Isha. Li Chie Shao Isha. How to pronounce Chie Shao Isha? Chie Shao Isha or just simple shortly Chie Shao and next we will learn how to say what's your name how to ask someone what's your name we have the Chinese word Chiao J I A O Chiao Chiao meaning to be called Chiao Chiao. Next one is Shama. S H E N M E. S H E N M E. Shama. How to pronounce Shama? And its meaning is what? What? Shama. What? Next word is means. M I N G mean. And if I put here Z, it becomes means means its meaning is name name chao to be called shama what means name if i combine these it becomes chao s h e m shama Means Chao Shama means Chao Shama means if I put here ni ni meaning you you ni chao shama means ni chao shama means and its meaning is you know what's your name what's your name so how to answer this question the answer is also very simple. You just have to put here wa, wa meaning I, and this chao. Its meaning is my name is wa chao, wa chao. Its meaning is my name is, and here your name. My name is Seth, so I put here Seth. Wa chao, Seth. My name is Seth. Ni Chao Shama means what's your name? Wa Chao Seth. My name is Seth. You can also ask what is her name? You just have to replace this Ni with Tha. It becomes Tha Chao Shama means Tha Chao Shama means the answer will be Tha Chao Ali Tha Chao Mary Friends, now we learn how to ask someone or tell someone your caste or surname First word we have is Chinese Gui G U I Gui Gui meaning expensive or honorable or honorable. Gu 
गुई गुई इस मीनिंग इज एक्सपेंसिव और अनरेबल एंड नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज शीन एक्स आई एन जी एक्स आई एन जी इन चाइनीज एक्स इज प्रोनाउंस एज शिव शिंग शिंग इस मीनिंग इज कास्ट और सर नेम कास्ट और सर नेम द हाउ टू आस्क वट इज यूर कास्ट इफ आई कंबाइन दीज इट बिकम्स गोए शिंग and it becomes guishin if i put here ni ni guishin ni guishin ni guishin its meaning is what is your caste or your surname and the answer is wa replace this with wa and put this shin here shin wa shin washing and here your caste or surname how to ask ni guishin ni guishin and answer is washing dash 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 what is your caste or your surname but guys there is an important note for you but first i ask you a question if you want to to ask someone others caste or self surname how will you ask you will say tha guishin Yes? No. This is wrong. This is completely wrong. This is just when you want to ask the person who is standing before you. Ni guishing, correct. But tha guishing is incorrect. So the correct form of when you want to ask some someone other's caste or last name. you will use tha this shin here tha shin shamma s h e n m e shamma what is his caste what is her caste or last name tha shin shamma tha shin shamma and the answer will be same tha shin Dash dash dash. Last name or caste. And friends, now we will learn how to ask about someone's health. That how is your health? First, we will learn the Chinese word in this situation is shen t. S H E N. How to pronounce shen? Shen. P I. It becomes shen t or shen t. S H in Chinese is pronounced as sh. It will become shen t, and you know that t is pronounced as th. Its meaning is body. Body. Shen t. Guys, if I remind you that we have learned ni hao ma, ni hao ma. Its meaning is how are you? How are you? If I want to ask that how is your health, you know that what will what will be solution? We will just remove this knee from here and put it in the place of knee. Nida, nida mean your, and after nida here shanti, nida shanti, and same here. How ma? Need the shanti how ma? Or just you can simply put here ni ni shanti how ma? Need the shanti how ma? And the answer will be wada my shanti han how han meaning very you know how good my health is very good. Nida shanti how ma? Thada shanti how ma? Her health is how is her health? Thada shanti han how? Her health is very good. 
And now guys, we will learn when we meet someone uh, in the end of our meeting, we say, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Then we will learn how to say in Chinese, nice to meet you. It's very simple. The first word is, we are going to learn run, R-E-N, run. Shir. Shir. How to pronounce Shir? There is a hidden R. Shir. Run Shir. Run Shir. Its meaning is to meet you, to meet or to know. Its meaning is to meet or to know. How to pronounce? Run Shir. Run Shir. Run Shir. Second word. Gao Xin. G A O. Gao. Gao. G is pronounced as G. Gao. X I N G. Xin. Gao Xin. Gao Xin. Its meaning is happy. Gao Xin happy. Ran Xin to know, to meet. So for nice to meet you, we have Ran Xin me to meet you. Me meaning you. Wa. There's comma. Run shir ni wa ai Han very Gao shin Gao shin Run shir ni to meet you to know you wa I am Han very Gao shin happy nice to meet you Run shir ni wa han Gao shin and friends, now we will learn the last part of our conversation, of our meeting before going. That is goodbye, Allah is. So how to say goodbye, Allah is in Chinese language. So we learn, we have two words. First one is Zai. Its meaning is again. And also its meaning is add in Zai Second one is Qian J is pronounced in Chinese as Chi How to say? Qian Qian Its meaning is To meet To meet So if I combine both of these it becomes Zai Qian Zai Qian Zai Qian Zai Qian And you know the meaning is meaning is Goodbye Goodbye Zai Qian Goodbye So guys this is our today's video I hope you would have enjoyed and get a lot of from this video Please guys share these videos to your friends so that, so that everyone can get knowledge from my videos. Guys I will request you to please give your feedback so that I can improve myself and my videos and like my videos, share it to your friends and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Allah Hafiz. Zai Chien.